Hi there. In this video I'm going to be attempting to replace the main radiator uh, cooling fan in the Audi A4 B8 from 2010. So, just to make things clear, there are two of them. A smaller one down there, which is still function functioning normally, and this bigger one, I think that's a three, 350 millimeters fan and this is 385 millimeters or something like that. Uh, that one is working well. This one I'm under the impression it has failed. Maybe. Yeah, it, it could have failed. What do you think? So, I want to get it out of there and replace it without removing the f uh, front bam bumper and who knows what and i'm going to try and do it the easiest way possible first i'm removing this cover right here to see what i i'm dealing with it uh, with in there uh, these are already loosened up torx t25 i think they are so in theory this is an easy job Keep the screws in a safe place. This just slides in. So slide it out all the way to the end. And we are seeing the top, but not much more. Now let me investigate. Nope, my bad, it was a T30 for those screws right there. Now I want to remove this Torx T25 for sure this time and in here in theory we have uh, some clips and presumably on the other sides as well so I'm going to investigate the idea is that I need to pull this out of here this is not something sealed because this is before the filter itself so let me get it out as expected four clips one on each side just unclip it from there and it comes out. It's really flexible, so you should be able to do it. Now, much more excess in this area. I don't want to replace the whole shroud because this fan is fully working, so I'm not, I'm not going to be bothered with that. What I'm intending is somehow to loosen this whole assembly to come out, so I just can split the shroud from this enough to get that fan out of there because the fan itself has three screws so in theory if I make enough room I can take it out but we'll see what I want to do next is remove these things I'm trying to get this whole assembly a bit forward this seem to have a clip as we can see in here so I pushed it with this pushed it in and with a flathead underneath on this side it seems I'm starting to get this uh, thing out. And now, wibble wobble. This is only thing holding it in. Let's do the same and get it out. Much better. What is preventing us from moving it more is this uh, right direct redirecting rubber. Now, I'm not sure how this comes out of here. I might, might not be able to take it fully out from the top, although I think so, but at least I am going to try and uh, bend it forward in a way that it doesn't bother me too much. But I might also be trying to get it out. Let me understand how it's clipped or who knows what in here, this whole rubber. Next step, I want to make a little bit more room in here, so I want to... Uh, unhook this sensor right here the connector at least to get the wires out of the way I think this is uh, for uh, AC uh, pressure I have a video I think I replaced this one if I'm not mistaken I hope it's another one anyway uh, it's not another one this one I think it is for this plug I watched my own video resist the urge to try and push it you need to pull it to the inside you can see it it's moving so when it's in the inside it will come out do not try to push it out it will not work 
Okay, on this side we have another limiting factor, which is this, in theory, rubber, but after many years it's quite stiff. So what we need to do with a small flathead, lift this, so we can get it out, but make sure it will not jump in there, you will get annoyed. This is elastic. I hope I don't even need to tell you, but don't do this with a warm engine, because you might have pressure in here and you can burn yourself, so... I had a little bit of pressure, I maybe should have opened this before, but it's cold, it hasn't run for two days. Now, yep, coming much more to the front, it will still be elastic, because this is at the top, so it's not as easy as there where it is at the bottom, but I think I have enough clearance. If I can unlatch this and push it back, the plastic a little bit back, and only pull this, the aluminium, I think I have enough clearance to get the fan which is about this thick. Okay, so after wasting about an hour trying to pull this guy outwards, I realized, hmm, maybe this one needs to put, be pushed backwards. This one that I'm touching right here, this big piece of plastic. And now that I'm putting the screwdriver right here, yep, it seems that is actually pushing backwards, kind of hard to show you, but I can push it backwards, and something is telling me that if I push it enough, yep, it's coming up. So I think it's unclipped now. Ah, yeah, that was fun. So that's what you need to push backwards, that piece right there that I'm touching that one let me try and put my finger on it maybe it's more obvious this this needs to go backwards to get this thing out and now it's coming out but it's kind of hitting everything in here and it's getting dark because why not okay on the left side it's that tight that I'm not able to get it unhooked so I'm removing the air box from underneath it's already uh, unhooked. I got this thing out by pulling on the gray part and then pushing on it, which lifts this in here, making sure it clears that so I can get it out. And now also unhooked this, got it out like this. In theory, I can get the air box out. I just need to pry it out at this end and it should come out, because it's loose. And voila, what a huge hole we have in here. And it's much easier for me to get at the clip down there, because I couldn't fit my hands in this area at all. This is what we are dealing with now. Managed to unclip this here, but couldn't unclip that one in there, so maybe if you want, just ignore the left half don't undo anything because it will not help you too much if you manage to unclip this you have some room in here as you can see my fan let me try and get its fingers get my fingers actually underneath it you can see it coming out but the motor is still in there i need to undo the three screws and get that out also and this thing is out. <sighs> Piece of crap. Now I need to undo three Phillips screws on this side. And I think the, the motor part I can pull it out through here, through a hole there. So I can uh, remove this piece of wood, keeping everything apart. And we will continue uh, after I get the new one and it's daylight, daylight outside. The car will not be moved meanwhile. These screws are Torx T20. What you need to do before removing the last screw at least, because it's easier like this. Uh, come on, focus please. Remove the connector from there, exactly where I'm putting the light, there's a connector. Camera focus, please. Right there. So, you need to unclip it and pull it out of the motor assembly. You can see the clip now, maybe in, uh, in the edge of the light. And here it is. <coughs> ah, bless you, no look. 
okay you can see the clip in here and basically the plastic ripped out from this pretty simple nothing that could have been done to prevent it you can see the connector right there with purple it was a pain to get out so if you do any of this you are in for a lot of pain but it can be done not easily at all but it can be done now i'm going to search for codes on this thing and order the new part and hope for the best find a way to put it back in when it's daylight this is all the info i have on my fan for the 2.0 tf si motor hopefully enough to find the new one a few days later the original fan and the replacement from male these are the codes on it for my particular car and this thing in the middle is what failed on this one as you can see rust all around so basically probably mostly rusted away until it fell off so there's that rest of the fan basically identical at this point what i want to do i need more room in here so i'm seeing if i can get this out of the way so i can pull this more to have a bigger gap in here because i don't want to force this in there as you can see it's quite wide okay this to get some leverage to make this wider in here uh, basically i'm not showing you exactly everything that i did but i took out every single screw in this area took out the headlight just to give us flexibility it's all about flexibility in this area so we have enough room to take this this is also moving as much as it can i loosen the screws so they are basically loose this is heating so it will not allow me to take the radiator more to the front because this is heating right here and this thing is huge and it's attached to the car in many places so i loosen just the top attachments but i think i have enough when i pull it just enough to slide the fan in here but i highly 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 do not recommend this method it's extremely complicated just take out the full front of the car and be done with it do you see that in there that's a new fan i just need to lift it attach the screws plug in the connector and hope for the best and then start putting things back in because i removed a shit load of uh, uh, of things of screws from this area uh, yeah this this from the start these are loosened up it, uh, that pipe was was in the way so i basically needed to chip my way a bit in in this part of the plastic so it will allow me also on this side to pull it I've seen people do it in this way on the forums but I think they had a different engine and pipes and stuff were a bit different maybe in a different position and it was easier for them because in this 2.0 TFSI Jesus it was a pain I would never do it in this way again but yes it seems it can be done but ugh managed to tighten the screws with this which is the tiniest of uh, keys i will link it in the description if i don't forget it's a little bosch it was about the only thing that would properly fit in here and now i just need camera focus in there please camera focus jesus no chance of focusing anyway i need to plug this in <sighs> it's not going to be fun but i think i can do it the connector is clipped in place make sure you can feel it clipping in because if it doesn't clip that one right there it can fall off and you don't want that also it will not seal against water because water might get in here that's a bad day anyway now i need to clip this in place it needs to first clip in there down at the bottom camera help us please you can see it right there there's a clip and another one somewhere down there those need to enter their position obviously on the top 
we have these ones on the side and uh, even some a bit uh, lower down there somewhere so this is gonna be fun let's see what we can do put back per part of the airbox underneath it it has two rubber uh, I don't know plugs that go into two holes put some oil on them then put it in here again with a tiny bit of oil and then you kind of hinge it down and make sure with your hand that those are uh, on top of the holes and then if you have oil on them when you push them instantly they go in if you don't put oil in there it will not go in now I'm going to start putting screws back in uh, yeah about this I lost some uh, antifreeze because I forgot that this thingy it went a bit lower than this level and uh, yeah it went through the whole system blah 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 and went out of this end and uh, down there somewhere so I panicked that I actually cracked the radiator luckily not I hope anyway it's it's really really hard to do this but yeah we do have a new fan in here so I hope that's all good the old one is still moving freely in this side so that's good but it will fail sooner or later I also pushed a little bit the aluminium from the back to make sure it keeps this uh, clipped in nicely because it was wobbling a little bit and now yeah I'm just putting screws all over the place back in it's that simple this thing in here I need to make sure I pull it back so it goes in its proper hole really hard to do on video you can see it has a clip down there ah okay it it's beginning to go back in put a screw in here obviously then some screws in here then this needs to be clipped back in it's yeah basically everything that I took out uh, obviously all the screws from the headlight two in the back one in here one in here one in there uh, everything that I took out needs to be going back in and I hope that tomorrow everything is working normally but we'll see and yes plugs plugs Ooh, forgot about the plugs check your plugs ah, many of them uh, will need to get back in their place and yes this one needs to be also latched it was a pleasure putting all kind of rusty screws back in place and yep this car is uh, starting to show its age sadly all the plastics are hardened all the screws are rusty yeah don't forget to plug in uh, your headlight uh, put all of the screws for the headlight put tiny screws like this back in and put some oil on them uh, for the future tighten everything back up in here I still need to put something in here still need to put the cover but that will be happening tomorrow because I want to double check I filled this up almost to the maximum and make sure that everything is okay tomorrow and hopefully we have a new working fan and uh, no issues whatsoever I hope who knows we'll see we'll see yeah also changed the oil about two or three days ago and then I discovered that the fan is fully broken I heard it at a time just wobbling in there and I was expecting it to fail but then again from one moment no sound whatsoever then uh, problem it was actually broken but luckily winter came and the car did not overheat if it were summer it would overheat for sure so yeah there's that everything plugged in this is also plugged back in and I hope it's all good okay next day all seems good haven't lost uh, any of the antifreeze which is great fan still position looking uh, like new because it's new and it was hard to put in place everything closed from last night I just put this thingy back on uh, you just push it in there it will clip really easily in place two screws in here make sure they are the small ones without the washer and uh, now we basically come with that thing here on top and put its four screws and then start the car maybe one less look to make sure I plugged everything in but yeah I kind of uh, did plug everything back, back in even this little thing it's in here plugged and good to go 
and it's done and it seems that everything is back in place because uh, this went exactly on the old marks maybe here we are missing a millimeter but uh, yeah all good to go now let's power it on delete the errors and hope that uh, that fan will run although it's really cold outside so who knows if it will run and when Okay, the engine is on and it seems the fan is working and both of them are spinning. So, yep, hopefully no more problems. Okay, so this is the error that I was getting, presumably when the fan was trying to to spin while it was hitting stuff because it was failing. Anyway, so there's that. And I was hearing a ticking noise uh, when the fan was spinning down. But uh, yeah, fixed it and now it's all good, cleared the errors and at least at the moment no problems. And the car was just uh, closing all of its uh, relays and you could see the fan spinning just a tiny bit when the car went, uh, went into standby basically. Both of them actually spinned. So yeah, that's about it. It seems you can replace this fan without disassembling the whole front of the car. But it's not going to be fun. So do it at your own risk basically would i do it again like this now that it's done maybe yeah maybe but hey it's your choice so thanks for watching this video hope it helps you in which case please give it a like check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one bye